Samsung just unleashed three new products at their Unpacked event on YouTube. You can watch the full replay on their channel in the description below. Yeah, today we'll be taking a look at all three of those products, the Galaxy Buds Pro, the Samsung Smart Tags, and the Galaxy S21. Before we begin, I'd like to show you something of my own. These are my analytics. According to them, less than 1% of my viewers are subscribed. The rest of you, well, I don't even know what you're doing. Well, guess what? The 1% of my viewers who are subscribed got good luck for a month and a free one. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of January and we're only nine subscribers away. Thanks, enjoy the video. This event was good, very good. It was a far cry than the Cringe Fest that was the Note 20 Ultra event and really showcased innovation. The first product was Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. I would personally choose these over AirPods any day. Apparently, they have this two-way speaker system, which is one of a kind in the industry. It allows for quality, rich sound that truly immerses you. The earbuds can detect when you're talking and turn the volume down or pause the music. Then, when you're done, it'll turn the music back up again. This way, you don't have to take your earbuds in and out all the time. That's true innovation. Then, there's Samsung Smart Tags. It's unconfirmed whether they borrowed the idea from Apple's AirTags or not, but, well, they were the first to release it, so I'm not gonna say anything. Don't try to be the best. Be the first. Anyway, the smart tags link to your other Samsung devices, so you can attach them to non-Samsung objects, and if you lose that object, get your Samsung device and ring it. It'll play a sound. Smart tags Plus also have an AR guidance feature, where arrows on your phone show where you go to find the smart tags. That's very smart. Then there's the S21 lineup. Can't say I was too shocked when I saw the uh, reveal. It was pretty much what the leak said. They got the wallpaper, the colors, the camera layout, everything. But it's still the most beautiful phone I've seen. But the camera housing on the uh, S21 Ultra does kind of look like a spider. Not gonna lie, it does. Anyway, the new camera bump flows into the edge of the phone and uh, it's a lot more durable, it's a lot more discreet, and it's a lot more seamless. The phone also has a smart display, which can go from a refresh rate of 48 hertz to 120 hertz. For all you non-tech people out there, that means more battery life and more responsive gaming. It also comes with S Pen support, but that's not included. Speaking of what's not included, the charger and the earbuds, gone. Rest in peace. I mean, it's not like they made fun of Apple that they removed the charger first, right? The new phones are also more affordable, with the S21 Ultra being $200 cheaper than the S20 Ultra. You are losing a charger, but to save an extra $200, I'm not gonna say anything bad. The Ultras have five rear sensors, with an ultra-wide, a 100 times space zoom, and a laser AF sensor. I don't know where they got that name from, but hey, it's their company, not mine. They can do what they want. Laser AF sensor. Sounds good. So mostly the updates are with screen, camera, and design. But there's also the Exynos chip. Exynos chips have been notorious for undercutting otherwise great phones. They drain the battery, make your phone hot, and all in all just make your phone crappy. Now, Samsung doesn't actually offer a discount if you get the Exynos or the Snapdragon version, so you're getting a worse phone for the same price as you would for a better phone. But the Exynos 2100 is coming with the S21 and S21 Ultra, and um, we don't know how good it performs yet, but Samsung says it's amazing. However, they haven't really been consistent with their claims, saying it's 20% better to it's 40% better. So we don't really know. Guess we'll have to see the benchmarks when they come out. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making a new video on Do I Regret? Switching from Android and PC to iPhone and Mac. We'll find out. But I won't have any of the new Samsung products because I'm broke, so don't subscribe for that. Anyway, if you do like my tech content, then subscribe, get notified. We're only nine subscribers away. That's four. Well, we're only nine subscribers away. That's eight. Can I count today? We're only nine subscribers away, so I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. I'm Faith from the Flying Pig.